so in order to install Jasper soft installer so it is nothing but the Jasper report server so it is required to create the Jasper reports Jasper reports are can be configured in the IDT so this is the tool which is required to install for the creation of the Jasper reports so install the uh, we have the install directory called as a resource kit inside to that you can go to the Jasper soft it has uh, two directories one is install and the other is the release notes and the install guide so installation guide is present in this directory so you can go through this instruction before installing the um, Jasper report go to the installer you can right click and run as administrator or if you had administrative right to the system you can directly install using run as the home page will occur and uh, it is kind of welcome page where it will give you the, the version of the Jasper server you have to click the next accept the agreement select the directory where you want to install Jasper report server uh, if you are going to install the new Tomcat in your system select the I wish to use the bundle Tomcat or if you have already installed Tomcat in your system you can use that using this I wish to use an existing Tomcat so in my system the Tomcat is not installed so I'm choosing the first option next if you want to use the existing bundle post Greece SQL database you can set that uh, if your port is already bind so if you are already bind you can choose the different port the database server port uh, you would like to insert sample database sample report you can select S yes. the I report design application is graphically designed for the Jasper report I report designer connect to the Jasper server to upload and download reports would you like to install a report yes it is required to create the and the design the report so I am selecting yes setup is now ready to begin installing the Jasper report server 4.5 on your computer so this message will come and your installation will start so here you have to click next So this will take little time, maybe a couple of minutes. So it's uh, started initializing the database which is required for the Jasper report After initializing the database, the next process will start.
um, before installing make sure you have the valid license in the appropriate directory like if you go to the Jasper shop directory you will find the license over there so it should be valid and before installing make sure you have gone through the, all the release notes and the installation guide which is provided inside this release notes and the installation directory so this will take little uh, some few more minutes Still, yeah, it's taking little time. So it's a installing the, all the Tomcat and the corresponding database directories in your local system. So we have to remember the port one which are configured for the Tomcat. So this uh, uh, installing the Jasper server, it is minimum requirement the JDK is 1.6. So if you have the JDK, you have to uh, make sure your JDK is not below than 1.6. And the uh, Windows system, you can install the Jasper server on the XP as well as Windows 7 uh, operating system. You can install on the Linux and uh, Mac OS as well. So in order to see what is the prerequisite, um, what are the minimum configuration? You can go to the installation guard, uh, installation guide, where the all the details are mentioned about this Jasper report server. So, so using Jasper report, you can create a um, PDF files report, or if you want to create the chart reports. So those will be more uh, business user friendly reports, and it is one of the um, one of the important and uh, basic kind of thing which is required for the business to analyze the data so now if you see it's a creating the sample database and it will take few minutes so while it's going on we will see what are the uh, details in the installation guide So if you go to the introduction, sec introduction section, you will find so what is the meaning and what is the significance of the Jasper report. Then the peak directory conventions means where the installation present, what server you can use, the supported version of JDK, the distribution, the Jasper report server distribution details. Are mentioned in the introduction section then you can uh, if you want to how to how if you want to see how to start and stop the Jasper server so go to the starting and stopping Jasper report server section and for the various operating systems the different different steps are mentioned even if we uh, want to uninstall the Jasper report as per your business name and as per your environment you can go through this section and it will mention how to uninstall if you want to install the war file in your dis in your server so these are the steps as per the environment like the windows or any other environment let's check the what is the status it will take it is still taking little time so we can go ahead and see the more details if you want to configure the database manually and the other details 
you can do that that privilege is also there so as if you have the windows you can have the different setting if you have the linux it has the different setting even if you want to un uh, install the war file manually that privilege that function is also available you can do that for the different server like the if you want to install the war file for the web spare or the web logic server so that is also available and if you see so this the jasper is jasper server is 4.5 version if you already another server uh, that is jasper report server have you have you can migrate you can migrate from 3.7 or 3.7.1 to the 4.5 version or from the pro 4 to 4.5 version or any other upgrades if you want to change the password encryption in jasper report yes that is also a possible so this is a separate section which is chapter 13 you can use the import and export utilities to import and export the configuration data and it's a setting and if you want to troubleshoot you can go ahead and so these are the troubleshooting options they are mentioned so you can analyze the issues and you can do the further troubleshooting okay so now the what are the sample data loading was going on so that is still going on we can wait for the few minutes once installation is complete you will see this screen where you can see the release notes if you want to view the you can select this uh, checkbox then the next option is launch jasper report server now and opt in uh, jasper, jasper server heartbeat so if you want to uh, see those details you can select so let's see what are those details so this will launch the jasper report server So if you remember we configured the Tomcat port is 8082 and this is uh, you can access the Jasper report server using the browser you can check its statistics here if you want to see the details can go to the start menu select the uh, all programs Jasper report server and here you can find uh, the documentation how to start the I report designer if you want to answer you can uninstall from here if you want to start service stop server you can do from this or you can manually configure this is as a Windows service Windows service So this is the welcome page for the Jasper report. You can log in and you can see the details. So this is the simple way of installing the Jasper report server. You can install uh, the Jasper report designer and you can use to create the different different reports. In the next session we will see how to create the Jasper report. If you have any comments or any opinion about this video you can mention in the uh, video below. Thank you.